So this video is all about parallel and perpendicular lines. And just to clarify what they are, parallel lines are lines that never meet. Okay, they are equidistant apart. In other words, they are an equal distance apart from each other. They're often denoted by these little arrows on them like this. And perpendicular lines are lines that are perpendicular to each other. So in other words, there would be a 90 degree angle between those two lines. Okay, so the key thing when a question involves parallel or perpendicular lines is that the question is therefore telling you something about slope. OK, so a little recap. There are three ways, if we remember, to calculate the slope. You can find the slope using the slope formula, in which case you would need two points. You can find the slope using the rise over the run when you have a graph drawn for you. And you can find the slope using y equals mx plus c. If you're given the equation of the line, you can rearrange it in the form y equals mx plus c. And then the coefficient of x, this m here, is the slope. So there's a whole video on the three ways to find the slope. So it is useful to recap on this if you are unfamiliar, because everything that we deal with now with parallel and perpendicular lines, as I said, will all relate back to the slope. So with parallel lines, they will have equal slopes because they will be on the same tilt. Remember what slope is actually calculating. Slope is a measurement of the steepness of a line. So they both have to be following the same steepness if they are going to be parallel. Okay, so that's the key thing about parallel lines. They have equal slopes. So if you need to prove that two lines are parallel, you need to find the slopes of both the lines and just show they are equal to each other. That is the key concept here whenever a question mentions anything about parallel lines. Find the slopes and they have to be equal. With perpendicular lines, because they're at 90 degrees to each other, the key relationship here is that with the two slopes of the lines, when you multiply them, they will equal minus one. So if you are asked to prove that lines are perpendicular, you will find the slopes and show that m1 times m2, in other words, the slope of one line times the slope of the other line will make minus one. That is the key relationship, okay? The other thing that I, you need to know with perpendicular lines is this. If you have the slope of one line, but you need the slope of the line perpendicular, how do you find that? Well, using this relationship that you know here, if the two of the multiplied must equal minus one, then if you have one slope and you need to find the other slope, here's what you do. So to find the slope of a perpendicular line, all we need to do is flip and change the sign. So let's take an example. Let's say the slope of a line works out to be two. And I need to find what the perpendicular slope would be. So if I know the slope is two, two can be written, of course, as two over one. Then to get the perpendicular slope, I need to flip it and change the sign. So in order to flip two over one, I'm going to get one over two. And to change the sign, in other words, if that's positive, then this one's going to be negative. So the perpendicular slope then would be minus a half. And you see, that's where the relationship two over one times minus one over half will equal minus one. So yes, the two lines are perpendicular. So if you have the slope of one line, but you need the perpendicular slope, take the slope of the line that you have, flip it, in other words, turn it upside down, and change the sign. Okay, let's take a look at a couple of questions. So here's a question. We're asked to show that the lines x minus 2y plus 1 equals 0 and the line 3x minus 6y minus 7 equals 0 are parallel. Okay, so again, if you need to recap on how to find slopes, the three ways of finding slopes, do look up the video that goes into that in detail. All right, so pause the video if you feel you know how to start this one. Otherwise, uh, let's work through it together slowly. So 
Given that it's asking me to show that they're parallel, the first thing I need to do is find the slopes of both, the, both these lines. And because I'm given the equation of the line, I need to just get it in the form y equals mx plus c, and then I can pull out, of course, the slope. So let's take the first line, x minus 2y plus 1 equals 0. And I'm going to take away x from both sides. So I'm left with this, and I'm going to take away 1 from both sides. So I'll be left with this. Now, if you remember, you can't have a minus 2y equals. It has to be exactly in this form, y on its own equals. So in order to get rid of this minus 2, which is being multiplied to the y here, I've got to divide everything by minus 2. That will give me y on its own. And then what I'm left with here, a minus divided by a minus, of course, is positive. So x over 2. And then a minus divided by minus again is positive, 1 over 2, which is a half. Um, and this, of course, is the same as a half times x plus a half. So the coefficient that I'm looking for here for the slope is a half. OK, so now let's take the equation of the other line. And we'll do the very same thing. We want to get it in the form y equals mx plus c so I can pull out the slope. So I'm going to take away 3x from both sides. And then I'm going to add 7 to both sides. And then to get rid of the minus 6, which is being multiplied to the y, I'm going to divide by it. And so if I divide by it on the left-hand side, I have to divide everything by it on the right-hand side. And a minus divided by minus is plus, and I have 3x over 6. Um, and a plus divided by minus is minus, so 7 over 6. And then this um, can be pulled out, of course. The coefficient can be written as 3 over 6, x minus 7 over 6. And so the slope of that line is 3 sixths, which, of course, is equivalent to a half. And so now I can show that these two lines are parallel because they have the same slopes. Now, a key thing about this question is, given that the question has asked me to show that the lines are parallel, it's not enough that I just get to here. I have got to put in my final statement of conclusion. So since both slopes are equal, then the two lines are parallel. Okay, that's a very important piece of information that you must include in your solution. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, let's try this question. Show that the lines 2x minus 3y plus 6 equals 0 and 3x plus 2y minus 4 equals 0 are perpendicular to each other. So pause the video and see how you get on with this one. So again, in order to find the slopes, which is always what these words are telling us to do, um, it's the equation of the line, so this is how I find the slope of the equation of the line. So I've got to rearrange it in the form y equals mx plus c. Let me take the first one, 2x minus 3y plus 6 equals 0, and I'll do that rearrangement here. So I'll take away 2x from both sides, and take away 6 from both sides, And then to get rid of the minus 3 that's being multiplied to the y here, I divide the left-hand side by minus 3, and that means I have to divide everything on the right-hand side by minus 3. A minus divided by minus is plus. Minus divided by minus is plus. And 6 divided by 3, of course, is 2. So again, I can rewrite that as 2 thirds x plus 2. So the slope of this line is 2 thirds. Okay. Right, let me take the equation of the other line, 3x plus 2y minus 4 equals 0. Um, and again, I'm going to take away 3x from both sides here and add 4 to both sides. I have a 2y, I must have a y on its own, so I'll divide the left-hand side by 2, in which case I'll divide everything on the right-hand side by 2. And I'm left with minus 3x over 2 plus 4 divided by 2, which is 2. And of course, that can be written as minus 3 over 2x plus 2. And so the slope of this line is minus 3 over 2. So now I need to do my little analysis. Are these then perpendicular? And so what I say is 
since 2 thirds times minus 3 over 2 equals minus 1, that's the key concept, of course, and that's the key relationship between two lines that are perpendicular, then the two lines are perpendicular. Okay, and just to recap then as well, two thirds, if two thirds is one of the slopes, then to get the perpendicular slope, you would flip it and change the sign. So the three would go on top, the two on the bottom, and it would change from positive to a minus. So that's where we're getting that relationship then, that the two multiplied would equal minus one. And that is what shows that the two lines are perpendicular. Okay, try this question. If the equation of the line k is y equals 4x plus 5, write down the equation of any line that is parallel, first of all, and then secondly, perpendicular. Okay, to pause the video here, if you feel you know how to do this one, see how you get on. And if not, um, listen and we'll go through it carefully, or press play when you feel you're done to see if you got it right. So, with this one, Again, the minute you see the words parallel and perpendicular, your first instinct should be find the slope. So with y equals 4x plus 5, it's the equation of a line that's the only information I'm given, so I know this is my method to find the slope. So I want to get it in that form so I can pull out the slope. So we already have it in that form, which is quite nice. So straight away, I can pull out the slope of that line is 4. So now, if I want to write down the equation of a line parallel, and I can write down the equation of any line parallel, then what do I know? Well, it's got to take the shape of this format, okay? So in other words, the key thing that's important here is that the slope is 4. In other words, that the coefficient of x is the same because parallel lines have equal slopes. So I know it's got to start off y equals 4x, and then I can add anything. I don't have to have the equation of a particular line. It can be any line. So I could add on 10. I could take away 1. I could do anything um, added on here for this constant number. It's just the key point that I have the coefficient of x the same as the slope of this line. So y equals 4x plus 10 is a possible solution. There are many possible solutions. We just want the equation of any line parallel. So once you have y equals 4x, it doesn't matter what follows, or zero could follow. Once you have the y equals 4x there, you've got the equation of any line parallel. So now let's have a look at perpendicular. So we've already clarified that the slope of the line is 4. But for a perpendicular line, I need to find the perpendicular slope. Now, to get the perpendicular slope, do you remember what to do? You must flip this and change the sign. So if I flip 4, what am I going to get? Well, remember, 4 is the same as 4 over 1. So flipping that, in other words, turning it upside down, we will get 1 over 4. And then changing the sign, if it's positive here, then it means it's going to be negative here. So the slope of any line perpendicular has to be minus a quarter. So now, what would the equation of any line be? Well, once I have it in the form y equals mx plus c, in other words, y equals, I need minus a quarter for my slope. That's the key thing. I need minus a quarter x. And again, I can add on anything. I've got the equation of a line perpendicular. So that's perfectly correct in that format there. You might find that you might want to multiply it by a four so you don't have this divide by four here, in which case, if you want to get rid of this divide by four, by multiplying this term by four, you've got to multiply everything by four. So if you were to multiply across by four, you would get four y minus one x, written like that, or just minus x, plus four times 10, which is 40. That is also correct, but both of those are equations of lines uh, perpendicular. And again, we can add on anything here and that would work out to be correct.